am survival information motivation hope everyone is well focused prepping and of course training so Zelensky from Ukraine just announced that 130 their power stations were damaged last week in strikes so when I hear about I don't keep up with the with the war as far as who would strike how many civilians I look and see what's happening and how that could possibly happen to us so power going down this is something we always discussed how are you ready one thing I picked up, I always usually have them on hand. I end up buying them every year. It's only a dollar. The little flat, the little solar lights that, you know, you put in your driveway, sun hits it, charges up, stays on for about six, seven hours. Those are great just to have some type of light in your home if the power goes down. That way you're not, you know, wasting any batteries and it could recharge. Only thing is, we know with solar is, you know, you do need light. Sometimes there's not enough light to charge it all the way. But that's just one thing. And there's other different ways, gas, solar, I mean, wind, depending where you are. Figure out what you need, because anything that's happening overseas, it's a good possibility it's going to happen. And again, remember, it is a war that we are financing, as well as providing weapons. So when will it come back to us? Who knows? It probably will be soon. And let's not forget that the terrorists that we fought back in the 90s, Taliban, um, what is it, Al-Qaeda, ISIS, all those guys? I don't know about y'all, but maybe they're good. Maybe they just say, forget about it. U.S. is too strong, too tough. What if these guys decide they want to strike again? <laughs> and let's not forget about the open borders. When you got people pouring in, not accounting for it, it spells for a lot of disaster. And that's just man-made. Let's not forget about Mother Nature. Mother Nature is unforgiving. She swoops in with a storm or a hurricane, then... It's nothing you can do about it, but try to prepare and deal with the aftermath that we just seen with the two hurricanes, right? So keep planning and keep preparing. Know what's happening in your area, your region. You know, if you're prone to tornadoes or whatever, or hurricanes, what are you doing to prepare? Might be something that you decided you maybe want to get out that area. Well, planning and preparing, as well as constantly gathering information is the key to survival. Thanks for tuning in. Freedom forever. We out.